right, well, tubers, two bats, and of course my inner circle of crazy people. Um, Baby May and I have been talking for months now yeah. um, about, well, what would happen to us if one or the other were to go away. And I don't, I'm not talking about breaking up. I don't think that's ever going to be mm -hmm. on our radar. We're pretty compatible. We have our moments. It's not perfect, but we're, we're good. Anyway, so I'm talking about death is really what it is. And for the longest time, I've tried to talk to May about this topic, and she's kind of been like the ostrich that just wants to put its head in the sand and not see it or talk about it. And I found that that's very common amongst the Filipinas. I've talked to my other friends. They, too, have tried to approach this topic with their partners or their wives or their girlfriends, and the women just don't want to talk about it because it's just such an un savory topic, I guess, yeah. or something they just as soon avoid. For example, she's afraid to go to a graveyard. You know, you don't like to go to, yeah. it's just not her thing. And it scares her and mm. um, she's mystified by it. And if it's an ugly topic, she'd just as soon avoid it. But I've managed to crack through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <And> so <laughs> we've, uh, over the years, we've, I've approached it and finally this last year, uh, she's opened up more about it, and I said, you know, we have to talk about this because we have joint property together. Yeah. You know, we have the cars yeah. and the motorbike, not the cars, the car, the motorbikes mm -hmm. and bank accounts yeah. and this and that and the other. And I said, you know, we have to put this in legal terms. We have to see a lawyer. We have to draw all this stuff up. And so we've been doing that off and on, back and forth this last few months. Yeah. And trust me, it's not simple. Because we go in to do one thing and we find out we need something else and that's another story. I don't want to get off topic. So, um, my question, and I asked May this question so she, already, so I know the answer, but I asked her to go ahead and share it with you guys. And the question is, if I died tomorrow and you were single, what would you do? Would you try, would you be interested? and meeting up with another guy. It doesn't have to be a foreigner. It could be a Filipino. Or would you want to take the, the, the plunge and start dating again or meeting men? Or what, what is your answer to that? My answer is no. Uh, if you did, uh, I'm not married. Uh, I, my wish is uh, I will the, buy the land, mm -hmm. I build the house, okay. and then I live alone. I'm not married. I'm not dating for any any guy. No, that, yeah, that, I'm contented with you, and then because you're very kind, and then you accept with me where where I'm been. I mm. uh, living before in the mountain, right. and then I'm only grade three em elementary, and right. then you accept me that right. you're not discouraged. And no. then you allow help me everything. I'm actually yeah. the whole thing about your education level and how you grew up and where you came yeah. from and all that. I found that to be more of an endearing quality than if you'd have been some spoon-fed kid that had been put through college and all this, that, and the other. Yeah. In fact, the inspiration for um, this outfit that I ordered <laughs> off of Shopee. <laughs> That's my first time. Yeah, is that? I think she's cute. Isn't it? Is that she? One day we were walking down the street a couple of weeks ago, and we've been together four years, and we've driven past a thousand schools with school kids coming and going, and all the if you don't know if you don't live out here, all the boys and girls wear uniforms. Yeah. And the girls wear plaid skirts. Yeah. And I think white shirts, right? Well, white. White blouse, yeah. like you got on. Yeah. 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 And so. Um, and the boys wear black pants and yeah. a shirt, and, yeah. and that's just a uniform, right? Yeah. And one day, out of the blue, just mm -hmm. recently, a couple, three weeks ago, she said, you know, I never got to wear uh, a uniform. And you told me about what your mom made you. So what was your uniform that your mom made? Uh, a burlap bag or something yeah, like that? Yeah. So she took, her mother took a burlap mm -hmm. sack and cut it out, yeah. and that was your skirt? Yeah. And then what was your blouse? Like a dirty shirt or dirty, something? Dirty t-shirt, huh. yeah. So, I don't, I see, I hear stuff like that and I think, wow, you know, that, uh, that ain't easy. And so I think that speaks a lot to 
May's character, which is one of the attributes that I'm drawn towards. But we're getting off topic, I guess. Um, so I'm confused as to why you would not be uh, interested in romance again. Another man where after I know you grieve and have your mourning period and all that, but time heals all wounds. And so over time, you'd eventually, I'm sure you'd always think of me, hopefully fondly, but it's time to get on with your life, as we say. And that, for you, you're not in interested in another guy. No, I'm not interested. I'm contented with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I always watch you in the news, the couple, the wife and husband, always fighting because of the problem of property. So yeah. I don't like exploring that. I'm contented with you because you're very kind and then you a lot help me for everything. Yeah, but not everybody fights and has problems with property. Yeah. However, we've had some funny experiences with people that we've met. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one quick one. <laughs> okay. We're not going to mention any names. But we did meet with a couple. <laughs> and <laughs> she, really, she was laughing and laughing and laughing. She was an older couple, um, an older woman, right? Yeah. She was like 50 or something like yeah. that. I guess that's older. Mm -hmm. And he was like my age. Yeah. And so he was telling me how he had met this woman and that he was taking total care of her and taking care of her family. Yeah. And all this, that, and the other. And... Uh, Man, this woman, I didn't have a, we didn't either one of us had a clue what they were talking mm -hmm. about. They, they were crying, laughing. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, we got home and I said, well, he was a nice man. You know, I said, he sure was a nice guy. He's taking mm -hmm. good care of her. And May's like, no, he isn't. <laughs> he, he pulled her out of a job that she had paying 30000 a month. Said, so I'll send that to your family. And... Uh, I think he made it one month and changed his mind. And now she's kind of stuck. And then she get caught taking some money out of his wallet. Yeah. Tell that story, because this is cute. Yeah, she's, so what happened? She's the, because the, the lady, uh, she have a kid. <laughs> she had a kid? Yeah, and okay. then she's, the kids is the, the kids are still study. And then the kids, uh, she called to the mother. And then the kids, he need the money. So the, the lady get the money in the partner, <laughs> the partner sleeping, <laughs> and then the lady go to the, <laughs> for sending the money, and then after sending the money, she back to the home, and then the yeah. partner, he be, he be very mad to the girlfriend, hey, why you liar with me? <laughs> said, what? You're, you're stalling my money. <laughs> I'm so laughing about that. <laughs> so he had counted the money. Yeah. <laughs> when he woke up, yeah. the first thing he did was count the money. <laughs> and it was missing 3000 <laughs> So she confessed, I guess. But uh, it was, that's just one you know, of those situations where I think May's tying into these kind of things. Like, with you and I, we've never had any money issues. Yeah. I can honestly say never. that. I can look you guys in the blue and tell yeah. you. Never in a million years have we had any issue. If she needs money, mm. she'll say, can I have some money? And yeah. I'll either say yes or no. And normally I say yes. Well, mm. a few times I've said no, you don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> she agrees. Yeah. And so, um, do we support her family? No. no. But every time I see her family, I give them some money. Yeah. And I've paid for a couple of funerals because I felt uh, that yeah. those was necessary. Yeah. And every month she gives her family from her money. Yeah. Her, she gives money to her family, yeah. and uh, you know we don't have a set allowance or an amount or anything like that. Mm -mm. I've always told May, I said, take care of yourself first. You know, make sure you have what you need, because if you drain yourself empty, you're going to have nothing to offer. Yeah. So, anyway, so I guess that's the answer. May wants to. Um, um, I hope she changes her mind, but I guess after my demise, if May is single. Yeah. She plans to just live her by herself in her little house, yeah. continue your YouTube yeah. channel, yeah. right? Yeah. And hang out with your family. Yeah. And Only kinda, my family. That's kind of the life that you had before you met me. Be yeah, that's my life, yeah. You were pretty quiet and reserved and yeah. you stayed in your room a lot. And yeah. You dreamed about being a model and all <laughs> and those kind of things. And yeah. Yeah. How, you hey, how about you? <laughs> how about me? Yeah, how okay. about you? If if I'm dead. Yeah, all right. 
That's a fair question. Yeah. Since I asked you, you can ask me. Yeah. yeah, if you passed away, I would have the same response um, pretty much. I honestly, yeah, I would grieve when I would have my time of mourning. I mm -hmm. do not know how long that would be. I imagine it never really leaves you, you know, when you have a close connection with someone like we have. Yeah. Um, so I think that would always be in the back of my mind. And then as far as dating other women or going out again, um, it really just wouldn't appeal to me that much. I like to have women as friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I enjoy the company of women, but I don't necessarily need to have a girlfriend. You're kind of an accident. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because that really wasn't my intent. Was to, okay, I'm gonna, I need a wife, or I need a girlfriend, or I gotta have a partner. And I get it, I get a lot of guys are big romantics, and that's what they want, that's their main driver in life, and that's cool. And you just kinda happened, because I was totally into just, I'm content, be quiet. I feel very blessed that I'm happy by myself. You see me. I can yeah. sit here. I, she's watched me. Mm -hmm. It's been raining all month. Yeah. And we've stayed home for the last three days. Yeah, we haven't yeah. gone anywhere except the, the store real quick. Yeah. And she kind of goes off in, her, in <laughs> one room and I kind of sit out on the porch for mm -hmm. hours at a time. And mm -hmm. I'm perfectly happy with myself. Um, I entertain myself or I can find things to do. And of course we exchange during the day and we interact and all yeah. that. But there's... Um, I've, I've learned over the years, there's just so many different things that would initially alienate me from women if I did get into dating mode. So if, let's just say a year, two years, three years goes by, and I say, well, you know what, I think that I do want to have a new companion, I'm already in trouble. Because <laughs> 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 I've got a list of things and this was actually mirrored. It was interesting. A guy I listened to on a podcast said um, how he just eliminates a woman before he gets started by this, 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 and this. And I agreed with him 100%. I said, wow, man, your list is my list. And so one of the things that really turns me off, and this will, full disclosure, all three of my kids are jacked up with tattoos. Okay, that's it. But I don't like tattoos. Yeah. And you don't like tattoos. I don't like. Mm -mm. Yeah. And so that's, again, no offense to you guys with tattoos, but um, just want to be truthful here. Just don't sense of blowing smoke up your skirt. I find them unattractive on men and on women. I see guys with sleeves and all this and that. Yeah. And I guess if they were more colorful or if they were more animated or they had some sort of real meaning behind it, it would make more of an impression on me, I guess. But to me, it just looks like one big blue blob, you know? It's yeah. just, and it's hard to just stare at some guy's arm because mm. you don't know the guy and it'd be weird if you're looking at him. It's like staring at a woman's mm. cleavage, you know? So get a glance, but you don't want to stare. Mm. And so I see them. So if I saw a woman with a tattoo, yeah. that would be an automatic turnoff right there. I just wouldn't even consider it. I'd be her friend and I would talk to her, but something tells me in my heart of hearts and deep down in my gut that that's a signal of trouble. And in fact, um, I've, you and I, yeah. we see pretty young ladies walking by all the time. Yeah. And you're pretty open-minded when we're together. And so we've watched beautiful women walk by with short shorts on yeah. or mini skirt. And you, she has said to me, wow, look, Daddy, she's, yeah. she's sexy. <laughs> I go, yeah, she is. But she's cool, you know. And then I've been alone or with her, and I've seen not the same woman, but the same scenario, some woman with a pair of short shorts or a mini skirt or something on. And on her thigh, she's got a great big tattoo, big monster tattoo. And it's just like almost repels me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right there, all those women are eliminated just off my list. And then the other thing that you don't do that I, again, I think adds to our longevity mm -hmm. is the consumption of alcohol. You're not a drinker. No, I don't like. I don't. And I grew up in an alcoholic home. Um, I know what that's like. Um, I had my little spin with it when I was in my 20s. It did not produce good results. So... I will have a beer every now and then. You've been with me. 
Yeah, my before. friends just invited me to go have a beer with them. And I said, no, I'm doing something else. I'm doing a video with me. Yeah. Um, and I'm not akin to that. I mean, I can, I can knock one back with the boys, no problem. But I've just found that women that drink, um, drinking leads to a lot of bad decisions and, uh, in men and women. And if a woman is drinking, to me, I won't elaborate on it anymore, but it's just a turn off. So if I saw a woman sitting at a bar, uh, that wouldn't eliminate her. Uh, but if I, and she was drinking a Coke, then I wouldn't think anything of it. But if she was knocking back a margarita, or two or three, <laughs> that would give me pause as to why I really think I want to deal with that for the next 20 years. And then um, this one's more difficult to find or discover, um, but it's daddy issues. And I was asking you uh, a number of times once we got going here on yeah. a relationship, how was the relationship with your father? And you said it was good. Yeah. You know, you said, you told me that um, there were a number of times where your father protected you. Yeah. Where he, like, the neighbor was bugging you, yeah. and he went over there with a knife. Yeah. And he said, hey, <laughs> knock it off. That's my daughter. Yeah, that's so, my father. you know, your father you respect. Yeah. And you, you, you don't have... He didn't ever beat you, or no. he didn't. And I can guarantee you, back in the day, I used to watch Howard Stern, and it's starting to rain, so yeah. I hope that's not killing the sound on our little video here. Boy, listen to that. Anyway, I'll talk louder. <laughs> we'll see how this comes out. We may have to redo it. Who knows? Anyway, Howard Stern, he would interview strippers back in the day on his show. Yeah. And he would say, and you had a problem, and the girl would be the, the, the dancer, you know, the, the, uh, the stripper, the pole dancer, what if you will, the gentleman's club. And they all had daddy issues. He goes, yeah, I knew it. And so when there are women that God bless them, but they, maybe they had, came out of an abusive family, maybe their father uh, was inappropriate with them, maybe he left, maybe he died, maybe a stepfather came into the picture, and that didn't work out. And that's not something I can figure out or discover at first glance. But that's a major red flag. But I would figure it out. So if I had it, I was talking to a gal that didn't have any tats and wasn't drinking, but three weeks into it, I was questioning her about her relationship with her father, or I could just tell by her behavior, I would know that I would need to curtail that. So... I've got a long list of women that I would not get involved in. And to be quite frank with you, at this stage of the game, I'm going to be 68 in a couple of weeks. Yeah, advance happy birthday. Uh, advance happy birthday is right. I don't think that at the age of 70 or 71, I would need to get going through a whole relationship thing again. I think I would be content and satisfied with myself being alone. Uh, hanging out with my friends. I could always have my YouTube channel, or if the YouTube channel went away, that'd be okay too. Yeah. I'd find something else to fill my time. Um, and so I think, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's probably why May and I have been together this long. Um, neither one of us has the qualities that we would find distasteful in each other. In other words, I've never raised a hand to her. Um, have I yelled at her inappropriately? Yes. Have I caused her to lose face? Yes. And I've always apologized and yeah. I've corrected it and I've said I won't do that again. Yeah. And um, so I've, I've done things wrong, but I've learned from it. Same thing with you. You've done some things that yeah. I didn't agree with and I said, look, that is intolerable. I will not put up with that. Yeah. And you thought about it, and you agreed. Yeah. And so that's that. So anyway, kids, um, that's just kind of our little video. What would we do if we were single again? And comments, questions, whatever, always welcome on the channel. Yeah. And don't forget to uh, 
to take a check out today with Baby May. Uh, she's coming up to 20,000 subscribers. So Thank you we'll be doing so a much. celebration on that. All right, kids. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.